Welcome back people, we got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. So, this is the fish that we are looking for. The unique African big eye catfish. Anytime I do live streams, I'll always use a face cam and mic, but when I make videos, I randomly hit record. I don't bother setting up the face cam, it's just time consuming. This is how we get those awesome good clips. So we have going to be showing how to catch every unique fish in this place, including hot spots, completed all the missions and everything like that. All of them you will find in a playlist. We've got a playlist of Just Fish in Planet. I know it sounds like a lot of self-promoting all the time, but I have to tell you that just in case if you are new around here and you're stuck on a mission or you're looking for a certain fish and can't get it, check in our playlist and you definitely will find it there. Not just this lake, but loads of different lakes. We are here in Congo River, Africa again today, but I've done lots of videos we got an insane, I don't know, something silly like 360 odd videos of Fishing Planet or more, even probably more than that by the time this video actually gets into our playlist. But anyway, yeah, Fishing Planet, I've been playing it for nearly six years. Every time there's new DLCs, I always buy them, get straight into the lake doing missions and hot spots and all that. So I couldn't give you a better reason to subscribe other than that. If you love Fishing Planet, this is definitely the place for you. 100%. Don't forget to smack that like button. And of course, if you've got any comments, do leave them in the comment section below. So there is, I have shown this hot spot before um, for the Cornish Jack. I have shown it before, but I just want to show you there. I'm casting a little bit to the right because it always drags your line over to the left. The current here at this location where I am, the current is quite strong. So it does keep moving your lines to the left. So you might have to keep on resetting your bait quite a bit, but that's all right because there's only time slots um so there was a time slot for the the jackfish uh, the cornish jack and there is also for the african big eye catfish i've noticed that i've been catching them insanely fast between 5 a.m and 6 a.m and that is on a peak day sunny day only and in the evening as long as it's a sunny evening and the peak time is high between 8 p.m and 9 p.m you can also catch these as unique as well you can pretty much catch these anywhere all over the lake and you can pretty much catch them at any time but to catch them as unique is not always the easiest so that's why today i've got three <coughs> i'm really sorry i'm just getting over my cough it's kind of eased off a little bit but when i talk a lot it comes back yeah, <coughs> you can catch these fish all over the place in Congo River, Africa. They are absolutely everywhere, but as unique, sometimes you've got to go to that certain spot to find them as unique. And this is the same place, as I said, for the other fish, the Cornish Jack. So there's our first unique big eye catfish. So for the Cornish Jack, again, I've made videos on how to catch those as unique, different baits and different whatever. And of course, I've shown for the Nile perch and the catfish and this now this catfish. <laughs> I don't even know what I've done at this point. I'll have to look through myself. I've, I've put out too many videos. But anyway, um, we've shown all these new bottom rods. I've shown new spinning rods, new float rods and stuff as well. How to max drag them and me buying them and using them as a setup and seeing what they're like and all that kind of stuff. But for this mission, this is why I mentioned that just then. For this mission, um, you don't actually need to have the same rod setup as me. You could fish here with a 20 pound rod setup and you will still catch these as unique. No problem. And you'll probably even catch some of the Cornish Jack as well. Again, very easily on a 20 pound setup. So you don't actually need to use the same rod setup as me at all but i'm just using what i'm using because this is what i have to hand right now this is i don't want to come out of this lake just to go and get a really weak rod to then come back into this lake just to catch these fish because they can catch them on heavy gear but of course there just won't be that much play there won't be as much bend in the rod so that kind of thing leave in the comment section below if you've tried this location and it's helped and you've caught them as unique yourself do let me know but as i say always remember the sunny days the peak times 5 a.m till 6 a.m so that's a one hour slot and then late in the evening when the water is at its high peak again at eight o'clock till nine o'clock always on a sunny day you can catch them any day but if you want that unique this the uh, the sunny day is what you need to go for so i'm here fishing in a friends only room um we've got a friend who's come to join us or a subscriber 
who's come to join us and we've also got dad i'm fishing here again next to dad we're chatting on the phone whilst i'm uh, actually <laughs> editing this video but um yeah i do love fishing with subscribers uh, just to show my support with you guys. I also do like fishing in random rooms as well. Because I also like to see what other people catch. And of course I love fishing with my dad. Because uh, it's a little bit of father and, father and son bonding thing that we do. <laughs> he loves this game just as much as I do. So, And we both put in serious amount of hours. And sometimes he finds those hot spots. And of course if dad ever finds a hot spot before I do. Of course, I'll always share that with you guys. So that, and I will say that Dad, Dad found it, so that way you guys know. So there it is again. Unique African Big Eye Catfish as unique. These ones were pretty easy. As long as you're fishing the peak times, you, you, you'll catch them insanely fast. So you spawn in there where my guy was lit up orange. That's make, make sure you spawn there. And when you spawn in there, you will spawn near the bridge. And you'll see a big bridge right in front of you. It's in absolutely impossible to miss it <coughs> really sorry about the coughing <clears throat> yeah it's absolutely imp yeah you there's no way you could miss that br that bridge at all as soon as you see the bridge turn right and follow the path down and this is this is it this is where i this is where i am so the good thing is obviously you can catch these on a boat as well and you know the new boat's got rod holders which again i did, did an in-depth video about that because a lot of people didn't like the idea of the way the the rods were set out but there is a way that you can watch both of your rods as long as um as long as you do it a certain way but again that's a different video so we don't really need to talk about that so as i said the unique cornish jack you can catch that here from this location so i will show you on the map where we are so you can come here on a boat if you want so the unique catfish and the unique cornish jack both in the same location. So I'm going to walk to where you would spawn in. Just so that way I can show you exactly where I am. As I said I have shown this before for the Cornish Jack. But in case you haven't seen that video. So where my guys lit up orange on the map. Right in the centre. That's where we're going to spawn in. That is my rod setup. Of course if you want to, if you want to copy it. You can always pause it and copy it. But you don't need to do that. Because you could do this with a very weak setup anyway. So that's it. This, that's how close it is. So, <laughs> Yeah, for each of these fish that I'm catching as unique, I'm catching free and um, putting those video clips together. Obviously, this video, of course, it was edited. Most of the time, I do try not to edit videos, but obviously, for me to keep showing un uniques, sometimes I can get one or two back-to-back, -back, but to try and get free, it's not always possible. But anyway, there's my new personal record. 14 pound unique <laughs> African big eye catfish. Hope this video did help you out guys. And uh, as I said, drop in the comment section below whether you've tried fishing for this before or you're going to try it and it worked for you. Definitely let me know. I'm interested to, to find out. Just remember where you spawn in. Very, very easy. You couldn't get it. You could, you, there's no way you could miss that bridge. There's absolutely no way. As soon as you see the bridge, turn right. And as I said, follow the path down. All right. That's going to cover everything for this one. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Make sure you use small cut, small cut bait. You can use other baits, but small cut bait worked best for, best for me, including the Kapanook 8, eight hot. I ate. Oh, hook. Wow, I'm trying to talk too fast. Catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.